Hello, welcome back to my video. Today we are trying out the Splat Midnight Magenna, Magenna, I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, semi permanent dye. And for this, my sister wanted to have strands. So we're just shaking up the hair color, then we're gonna cut off the top. And I have some foils cut so that I can apply the hair on there. The hair dye, if that makes sense. So, anyways, we're gonna just put that on the strand, and then we're about to put on that beautiful hair dye. Or semi permanent hair dye, which smells really good by the way, since it's not actually hair dye. It's like, I think almost fruity, but very sweet smell. Anyway, so I'm rubbing that in with my finger. Make sure to put a generous amount onto your hair so that it soaks up. Does that makes sense? Because the less you put on there, the less the color is going to be vibrant. So soak that baby up. It looks around like that. And then we're just going to fold up the aluminum foil. In my case, if you do it without aluminum foil and you don't do strands, you can just apply it to your entire hair and make sure you have enough hair dye. So we got that all folded up from our case. We're not going to scrunch it up because that's really bad for your hair. So we're just going to do it neatly folded. First strand down. Now we are working on our second strand. And for that, our model has to hold her own hair because it has to be out of my way. So we're putting hair dye on again and but um Same one. Happy model, happy life. So this one, her hair looks a little like a wild lion, but hey, we're gonna brush it out of the way. She's gonna hold it again and we are working on one of the last strands, just soaking it up with the hair dye again. Pulling that baby up, and after that, we just have to let it sit for 48 minutes, as far as I remember. And then we put in this beautiful bun so the hair wouldn't get like messed up with the color. So yeah, she looks so freaking happy. I know, I'm such a great sister. Anyways. A few moments later. So these are the results in the daylight. As you can see, she has very pretty pink undertones. Now, if you'd like to try out this hair color yourself, I would probably recommend that you have either the same level of blonde as my sister or a lighter one, because otherwise I don't think the hair color is going to show. 